I went ahead and bought these uh, Renogy brackets to mount onto uh, my Renogy solar panels and uh, mounted those on there. And they come with these uh, really long, that looks like inch and a quarter long screw with a, a rubber seal washer on there, which I like. But I'm not going to put those in the roof. I think the roof is only uh, 3 8 plywood. So I'm going to use these 3 quarter long wood screws and then I'm going to put that uh, rubber seal washer on there. And I, I think that'll be fine. I'm showing this now because when I install it, I won't be able to show that, but that should work out fine. Okay, we got the new uh, solar controller put in. And uh, I did have to move some things. I had to move the transfer switch up, and then I had to move the uh, fuse over there. I had to add that. That's a 40 amp fuse. I had a 30 amp fuse in there before. So got this all wired up, and now I'm gonna put the solar panels on and uh, see how that goes. All right, we're working on the layout. I hauled up these panels with the on the ladder there by myself, so I'm a little out of breath, but. Uh, It'll look something like this. I'm gonna do this in series. I did some experimenting at home and a series is definitely the way to go if you get a little bit of shade. So I'm hopefully obviously gonna get a little shade here. So we'll work on this. All right, we got the solar panels installed and came out better than I thought. With minimal wires exposed, I was able to zip tie these to the edge of this original panel. And uh, like I said, I did it in series. Positive, negative, positive, negative. And uh, yeah, that worked out good. I had to buy a couple of 10 foot uh, Bouge RV MC4 connector, uh, extension cords, 10 feet long, and uh, did the self leveling. So on these, I did uh, drilled the holes, pre drilled them all, and then moved the panel off, cleaned it with water, and put you know, a bead around each hole and then along the, between the holes. And then after I screwed it down, then I put more on top, self-leveling. So uh, I think that's gonna complete this. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. I'm probably gonna get a little shadow in, in the morning and then in the late afternoon from the air conditioner, but this should do me fine. This is 525 watts total three 175 watt uh, panels um, and of course I can always change it I can I got room up there actually for a couple more if I ever decide to upgrade more but I think this is going to do us fine for what we do all right I thought I would finish this up with uh I did use these three quarter inch long wood screws these are a number 10 wood screw with a number 10 stainless steel washer this is what it came with, and that's an inch and a half long, and it came with that rubber seal that goes on the bottom. I did. I decided at the last minute not to use that. I used the washers instead. I think that's a better fit. That's just a Phillips head, number 10 pan head screw. Uh, the roof on there is only 3 eighths thick, and you could feel it when you drilled through. So I think that's going to be plenty. And then I sealed it real good. And then there's my old solar controller. I might use that here. I might buy a couple panels for here at the house. But anyway, I forgot to give the reason why I use the shorter screw. I was reading online where, you know, they do attach wires and stuff to the rafters in the ceiling of the RV. So I didn't want an inch and a half uh, screw, you know, going clear down there, maybe into the uh, um, duct work that goes for the air conditioner. So I thought this was a better choice and I, that should be plenty long enough. I think I think that'll hold up well. And that was the reason why I didn't use uh, the self self tapping drill, uh, self tapping screw that that goes in there. I mean, I don't want an inch and a half sticking clear through. It's only three eighths thick. So anyway, that's it for that. I thought I would give some totals on how much this all cost me. The solar upgrade. I had one solar panel obviously on the roof already, so I had to buy the controller, two new panels, and a fuse, a forty amp fuse. And so that part of it was five hundred and sixty six bucks. I had to buy some uh sealant too for the roof because i didn't have it on hand so the total there was 566 and i had to buy these for the mc4 crimpers and then the total for my battery lithium battery upgrade was um 16 right at 1650 bucks 
and obviously I had to buy some uh, crimpers for the cables and connectors. Uh, these I didn't even end up using. I bought those for the 2 aught cable, but I ended up not having to cut those, but I got them anyway. So that's total with tax and everything. And actually for me, out of pocket, it was a little bit less than that because I had some uh, discounts from Amazon that I was able to use a few hundred dollars. So my out of pocket was a few hundred dollars less than that, but I took I kept track of the total expense and that's like you know cables solar cables mc4 connectors uh and then the connectors that go on the number 10 wires and then the number six wires and that's why i had to buy these crimpers for that and these all work great i i didn't have any trouble with any of these so i just thought i would let everybody know what that total cost was 1650 for the battery upgrade all the fuses and all that total total cost and then 566 for the solar upgrade. So that's going to finish out this video. Talk to you later.